Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have got the another review, basically. So this, these two DVDs here, um, they're all similar, the same. They're all about Cinderella. And obviously I've got the three pack and then just the normal one. So we go from this one from pop top to bottom, the three movie that's in this one, then we go to the fourth one. So the first one is is the one with Hilary Duff is a Cinderella story. So basically, um, she's a um, diner girl um, who her stepmother um, was trying to get out of the picture when she was marrying her dad. Um, her dad, they had a, like an earthquake when, they, when she was younger and he, her dad passed away. Um, basically, because um, her dad didn't have a will, um, the stepmom and the stepsisters got what they, what they want. So, um, Poro and um, Sam basically had to work in a diner when she wanted to do her own things. She couldn't. She had to work every time while her sisters got to do whatever she wanted. It was not fair. Um, while her, her stepmom was getting Botox, getting a whole lot of her face done. Um, the person who plays it, absolutely. Um, if you remember the girl, um, the lady from Legally Blonde, when the hairdressers, you know, they goes like snap that one. I can't remember her name. She's the one who plays this evil stepmom, but um, she says a lot like, "Oh, don't hit my face. Hit the girls. They're much newer than mine." Something like that. So anyway, she is actually pretty cool, but um, it seems that um, it gets near the end. Obviously, she gets the prince. They go to Princeton and they get like, oh, and it's like all, all like really nice. And obviously, at the end, Sam's like, "You know what?" Fiona, I've had enough of your crap. She doesn't actually say it. I'm saying it like how I would say it. I'm like, Fiona, I've had enough of your crap. I quit. And she's like, what are you going to do with no money? Where are you going to live? And I can't... Oh, crap, what's her name? Um, the other one, this other lady was like, oh, you know what? I quit too. And I've been waiting a long time. She like, takes her earrings, earrings out and she's like, you know what? I've been waiting for this to do this. I've only been sticking here because of that girl. Because obviously Sam puts up with her all the time. And it was just it's just amazing. Whew. It's actually pretty amazing of what they she can do. She stood up finding her and obviously Sam finds a will that leads to her dad and obviously it's she's and it says that everything belongs to Sam. So the cars that the girls got, the um house, the diner it was all Sam's nothing. And obviously um Fiona didn't say she's like, oh, I've never seen that will before. Or should I say my husband's will before, that's what she said, it's one of them. So we had that. But it is a good movie to watch. I do like it. It's weird, but it's good. So the second one is another Cinderella story. So this one has Selena Gomez in it and Drew Seeley. Now these two I do absolutely love. Adore. Adore. Um, obviously, I know Selena Gomez is from Wizards of Waverly Place. I absolutely love that. I need to get the movie for that. The movie. The movie's pretty good. So this one is basically... Um, it starts off with Selena singing... Um, Tell me something I don't know. Um, singing that, and then obviously it goes. You can hear in the background is Mary, like obviously because she's. Um, does it say the name on here? Because I can't. No, it doesn't say it. So obviously, this um, Mer Selena Gomez is played by Mary. Oh, Mary's pet. Yeah, Mary is the the person that's in there, and obviously, um, obviously I keep saying obviously, don't I? Mm. So basically, and that one, <laughs> and basically um, what happens is, um, after being that, she's, I don't know how she actually got, like the, there doesn't tell us anything about the step dad, or the, well, the dad or anything, it just goes straight from the stepmom to the stepsisters um, thing that just like, oh, it's so confusing kind of thing. Um, so I don't know exactly where it's gone through on on another Cinderella story. Um, exactly where her dad, what, what her past happens on it. I am actually confused on that. But she has a friend. I can't remember her friend. Dang it. But she's wacky. She's like just amazing. She like have a leather jacket with a tutu. She's like, does my leather go with my tutu? And I'm like, yes girl. That's how you should be doing it. Um, obviously she had a caravan thing and she's like, once she had a dream like, when she um, does her own style of clothes, she's going to um, have her own mansion, you know, the little big house. She's going to fly to pick up Mary and go shopping in Paris. 
Now, girl, that's something that's pretty good, but they cost. Um, I don't think. Sorry, like my back is really weird. Huh. Yeah, you don't see that day. Um, anyway, so um, she goes through the red, uh, so the black and white ball, and um, everyone's trying to find out who the um. I can't remember who Drew played. Joey Parker. That's the one. <laughs> remember. So, Joey Parker, played by Juice Hilly. Um, he dances really well. He's a fantastic dancer. You might recognise him from High School Musical, the movie? No. What's it? Where is it? I have something. The concert. He, because um, Zach Efron didn't come, go into that concert, Drew Seeley was there playing Zach, um, playing um, Troy. And obviously you can see him in that. Um, with that as well, he finds out that Mary is the one who danced with her, who danced with him, who did the tango. Mm, I love doing the tango. I don't know why, but it's fun. Um, and so basically, like with all that in one, She's basically, um, and they're like, threatening her to base, um, like, get up dance like that one. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna need, need, I'm trying to think, because obviously I've watched these already and I'm trying to think for my memory, it's really, really bad. Um, um, ba -ba -ba -boom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so good, my mum just gone, mm. I forgot really. So anyway, she applied to go to dance school. Um, obviously, the stepmom um, got the letter, and they called up saying, "Oh, this is blah blah. We like to have Mary for a dance, a dance thing." Oh, oh so that my not forgot. And obviously, um, they're like, she's like, "Oh no, um, that's not gonna do." She has two broken legs legs and she's like oh how you know they're well they're skinny little things and they just snap right off i'm like um okay i don't think bones can do that unless you're really 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 skinny but you know okay okie dokie so anyway um joey basically um gets the person from the dance school to come to the, his competition to find out who will do a record a record with joey and Mary ends up winning anyway and gets the it's just like a big thing and then they all move and do what their own things but the stepmom breaks her own two legs and that means that's what you get karma karma is a bitch but you know there we go and then the last one for this series is the once upon a song a cinema story so this one is played by Lucy Hale um she is uh, played by she is she plays Katie and basically they live in a big massive house um, and Katie's in the little shed. She lives in the shed with all the washing guys and all that stuff. Um, and they go to, um, it starts off with her singing, um, Hold On. What's, no, not Hold On. Hold on, I'm ready. I think it's Bless Myself or something like that. Oh, it's one of, one of the ones, I can't remember. Um, Anyway, so this one, um, um, well, I can't remember the dude's name. Yeah. Um, and also the, the one, the girl that I was placing into the stepsister, I believe she's the one who plays Wild Child, the main character, I think, because she looks like her. I think that is her. I can't believe, I can't, I think that's it. I'm not too sure. But, you know, yeah. So anyway, um, Hey, back up forward, back up forward, never less, never less. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what that was. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just rambling, rambling like that, you know, guys. Oh. Anyway, okay, let's get this going. So the I'm so tired. So um. Mary, um, for God's sake, Katie puts a CD, a demo CD into the guy's, I say guy because that's kind of what he's, they keep saying, guy something, um, into his bag and not give it to his son instead. So obviously, guy calls her phone 
and because obviously she's running outside naked because the boy was decided to, little brat um little brat decided to take her clothes after get um savaging her up with ketchup and mustard and obviously he she was running outside um naked around the house uh, outside the house because she got locked out as well and then she had to put a welcome mat around her and then obviously on that and obviously um the stepmom lied and said that it was beth's um song that written that um katie stole the song and she can't sing but beth is the one that can't sing for crap um and all that and uh, it gets to the end where the um, guy's son finds out that Katie starts singing the song for Beth and gets the camera and ends up everyone finds out that it was it was Katie who sings the song not to Beth and Beth, she, Katie comes out sings the song and then sings Minkle it's just really confusing but you know and then the last Cinderella one is a Cinderella story if the shoe fits now this one is played by Sophia Carson the one who plays Evie in Descendants so she plays the Tessa Golden in this movie and basically it starts with her singing a song. You figure it out, the only one that has not didn't have a song was the first movie. The first Cinderella story didn't have a song. The other three all starts with a song, which is really weird. The first one will start when she was little. Right. Sorry. Oh, so it all starts when she's little. So anyway, it starts with a song. I can't remember what the song is called now. She sits in the car. Look, it's kind of like grease lining, but not grease. But obviously, it's like kind of like more. Remember, my hair? So I can't. I can't remember. And and it was obviously um her stepbrother. Stepbrother. Oh, that would be a new one if it's stepbrothers. Um, so basically, her stepsister, stepsisters, and her stepmom basically tells they go on to a Cinderella. They, um, they want to play a play in. Hang on. Um, audition, that's the word. Audition for the part of Cinderella. They will be the main character. If they win the main character, basically, um, they're going to get a record deal and blah, blah, blah. I'm moving the camera a bit. Sorry, guys. Um, so, on this is... She meets someone else who works there, but is the makeup artist for the show. And um, Tessa, basically... Um, Okay, that was my pen that just dropped on the floor. Um, Tessa. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, Tessa um, comes a more of a, she has a, she get puts a wig on that's blonde. She comes all like um Londony, and then she has the London accent that then goes all like all posh and everything, and then she gets the part of being Cinderella. The guy person I do not know his name. Does it have it in here? Does it have it in here? Reed West, that's it, haha. <laughs> so Reed West um, is the person who plays, um, sorry, Thomas Law plays Reed West, and um, he falls in slowly, but starts falling in love with her. Tessa is someone who likes build, uh, playing around with cars, motorbikes, and fix the motorbike for the Cinderella carriage thing. And um, at the end, um, it lives happily ever after as Tessa and Reed do their thing, and they ride off. On a motorbike into the sunset. <laughs> Ow! Uh -huh. So these was these two, these three, four movies. I say four movies. If you've watched any of these movies on movie or not, please let me look down below. Right. So I do like these movies. Um, to rate them all in one, two, three, and four, it would probably have to go another Cinderella story as my first one. If the shoe fits, that would be my second one. Then it would be Once Upon a Tongue, and that song, and then a Cinderella Story. The first Cinderella Story wasn't much of my great one, as it wasn't getting there. That's all I've got to say. But that's the two, that is the four DVDs of the Cinderellas. So that is all we have for that review, and the next review will be coming up very soon. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.